Anthrax is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. The bacterium was first discovered and identified by German physician and scientist Robert Koch in 1876. Koch's work on anthrax contributed to the development of the germ theory of disease, which states that specific microorganisms cause infectious diseases. His experiments with anthrax helped establish a set of postulates, known as Koch's postulates, that are still used today to determine whether a particular microorganism causes a specific disease. Anthrax is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. Humans can become infected with anthrax through several different routes, which can result in different forms of the disease. The main routes of infection are Cutaneous anthrax This is the most common form of anthrax infection, accounting for around 95% of cases. It occurs when the bacterium enters the body through a break in the skin, such as a cut or abrasion. This can happen when a person handles contaminated animal products, such as hides, wool, or bones. Inhalation anthrax also known as pulmonary anthrax, this form of the disease occurs when a person inhales anthrax spores. This can happen when a person is exposed to contaminated animal products, soil, or dust. Inhalation anthrax is more severe than cutaneous anthrax and can be fatal if left untreated. Gastrointestinal anthrax, this form of anthrax infection results from consuming undercooked or contaminated meat from an infected animal. Gastrointestinal anthrax is rare but can be serious, leading to severe gastrointestinal symptoms and even death if not treated promptly. Injection anthrax. This is an extremely rare form of anthrax, which occurs when the bacterium is introduced into the body through an injection, either intentional, e.g., drug use, or accidental. This form of anthrax can cause severe soft tissue infections. It is important to note that anthrax is not contagious, meaning it cannot be transmitted from person to person through direct contact. Infections typically occur through contact with infected animals or their products, or in some cases, through exposure to intentionally released spores, as seen in bioterrorism attacks. Anthrax is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. The symptoms of anthrax vary depending on the route of infection. There are four main forms of anthrax, each with its own set of symptoms. Cutaneous anthrax. A small, painless, itchy bump that appears within a day or two of infection. The bump develops into a painless, fluid-filled blister with a black center, a scar, surrounded by swelling. Swollen lymph nodes near the infected area. Inhalation anthrax. Initial symptoms, within a few days of exposure, include fever, chills, fatigue, cough, mild chest pain, and shortness of breath. After a brief period of improvement, severe symptoms may follow, such as high fever, difficulty breathing, rapid heartbeat, severe chest pain, heavy sweating, and confusion or altered mental state. Gastrointestinal anthrax. Abdominal pain and tenderness. Nausea and vomiting. Loss of appetite. Diarrhea, which may contain blood. Fever and chills. Swollen neck, in some cases. Injection anthrax. Localized pain, redness, and swelling at the injection site. The infection may progress to a large, painful, fluid-filled sore with a black center. Fever and chills. Swollen lymph nodes near the infection site. Anthrax can be a severe and potentially life-threatening illness, especially in the case of inhalation anthrax. Early diagnosis and prompt treatment with antibiotics are crucial for a successful recovery. If you suspect anthrax exposure or infection, seek immediate medical attention. Anthrax is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. Treatment for anthrax depends on the form of the disease and the severity of the symptoms. Early diagnosis and prompt treatment are crucial for a successful recovery. The primary treatment options for anthrax include Antibiotics. Antibiotics are the first line of defense in treating anthrax. They are used to kill the bacteria and prevent the disease from progressing. The choice of antibiotic depends on the specific circumstances, but common options include ciprofloxacin, doxycycline, and amoxicillin. Treatment duration can range from 60 days for inhalation anthrax to 7 to 10 days for cutaneous anthrax, depending on the severity and type of infection. 
Antitoxin therapy. In severe cases of anthrax, particularly inhalation anthrax, antitoxin therapy may be administered in addition to antibiotics. Anthrax produces harmful toxins, and antitoxin therapy helps neutralize these toxins. Rashibacumab and abiltoxaximab are two FDA-approved anthrax antitoxins. Supportive care. Patients with severe forms of anthrax may require additional supportive care, such as intravenous fluids, oxygen therapy, or even mechanical ventilation in cases of respiratory failure. Pain management and treatment of secondary infections may also be necessary. Post-exposure prophylaxis. In the event of a known or suspected exposure to anthrax spores, healthcare providers may administer antibiotics as a preventative measure to reduce the risk of developing an active infection. This is particularly important in situations involving bioterrorism or large-scale exposures. Vaccination. An anthrax vaccine is available, although it is primarily recommended for people at high risk of exposure, such as certain laboratory workers, military personnel, and emergency responders. The vaccine is not typically recommended for the general public. If you suspect anthrax exposure or infection, it is crucial to seek immediate medical attention to ensure proper diagnosis and treatment.